what happened mm-hmm. on that friday nimetoka kwa cyber nimebewa bag ilikuwa na laptop hiyo laptop ilikuwa tunaenda zitozipeleke mm-hmm. ziflashiwe tukazipeleka kwa mabroka okay na simu zilikuwa tumeenda robari kama juzi hivi mm-hmm. so tulipoenda hiyo siku mimi nilipo sasa nikitoka kwa saiba hivi mali pe ndiko naenda kukutania kwa sababu tulikuwa tumerent paka kanyumba kwa mkutano mm-hmm. peke yake mm-hmm. sasa nikaona kuna magari sizielewi lakini sasa jana yake ilikuwa na siku kuu mm. kubwa so nilipo akili yangu ikaniambia hawa labda wanamalizia pati yao jana wa islam nini mm-hmm. so sikuwa na ile in suspense kwamba labda ni maaskari ama kitu kama hiyo mm-hmm. mimi nikasonga tu nikafululiza kwa sababu nilikuwa naenda mahali kunaitwa masters mm-hmm. kazi nimetoka mahali kunaitwa fisheries bamburi mm-hmm. na ingia na vichochoro ndani ndani so nilipo songa songa zile gari mahali penye zina zikapaka nikiangalia sioni watu mm-hmm. gari ziko empty Ay. so mimi akili yangu haiko niambia nipige simu ni uambie niulize wale jamaa kwani kuna kashughuli yote kuna party mtaani mm. mimi niliona wacha tu niende mahali pale tunakutani yanga mm. at least nijue kunaenda aje mm. so mimi nikapanda barabara so by the time nafika hapo mbele na ile raia kuna raia sasa inaniangalia mahali penye mimi natoka mm. so nashindwa hii raia inaangalia ni so kuangalia nyuma hivi ni mask Hello and warm welcome to today's episode of Bear Talk. You know it is always to tell to inspire. So today I have an amazing guest. What exactly would you say you were doing at the age of 12? My guest today is gonna and tell us what unfolded uh, when it comes to his life because he was actually abandoned by the mom at that time and found himself in the ruthless uh, side of the street where he we got into drugs and crimes and i won't continue to preempt on anything the story is his not mine so we're gonna see it listen um in do not forget to go, to subscribe to share uh, to comment let's uh, do this so karibu kwa show uh hapa ni bear talk uh tunafurahia uko na sisi leo and uh, before tuweze kuendelea unaweza nitambulisha utuambie wewe ni nani na what you do okay i'm um, derek mm-hmm. derek yuki wangoi mm-hmm. jina la mtaani wengi wananijua kama dk kuna wengine wananijua kama junior ya uko ndani mm-hmm. right now nilikuwa kazi lakini kwa sasa siko kazi okay. for the time being okay imekuwa yeah. aje maana umeniambia mambo yamekuwa mengi Munda ndio mchache. <laughs> Actually nimepitia mengi mm-hmm. na ukiona mwanaume ama mwanadamu yeyote mm-hmm. haswa amesimama hivi na anaongea. Yeah. Kwangu mimi haswa kusimama na kuongea hivi natoa sababu tu anaona ni uzima na ni Mwenyezi Mungu. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu kama si Mungu actually ingelikuwa mimi nilikufa kitambo. Yeah. So maybe labda nitakuanzia na hapo nyuma kidogo. Mhm. Mimi I'm 24 years old signed na turn 25. Mm-hmm. Nilizaliwa 1999 second mm-hmm. July. Nilizaliwa Mombasa. Nikalelewa na familia ya single mom. Nilikuwa kuna dad. Yeah. Ni madhe peke yake na sina bro wala sis. Mhm. Although our origin ni Kirinyaga, but specifically sijui ni Kirinyaga wapi. Oh, okay. So kulelewa by that time si ngesiwezi sema kwamba maisha yangu mimi na madhe ilikuwa mbaya. Mm-hmm. Hapana. Though hiyo life ya primo nilisoma vizuri mm-hmm. but by the time nakuja sasa kufanya class 8 mm-hmm. that's when the problem started okay. problems ilianza na ile hali ya kwamba mm-hmm. mama alikuja akakuwa infected mm-hmm. baada ya kuwa infected i think mental torture akakuwa na mental torture mm-hmm. na depression mm-hmm. na hakuweza labda kujikubali mm-hmm. na kutokana na hiyo she became an enemy to friends mimi mwenyewe san mm-hmm. and everyone ila alikuwa ni chair lady wa CWA okay. kanisa yetu tulikuwa tunaenda Mombasa mm-hmm. ni tuwa Holy Cross kadwa alikia chani mm-hmm. alikuwa ni CWA mimi mpaka nimeshai kuwa mpaka alter boy those times yeah. na ilikuwa motivating though mamangu watu walijaribu kumwangalisha mm-hmm. though hakuweza ni mfano tu nikupatie 
Yeah. Tunaweza pikiwa watu wawili ugali. Mm. Mmoja akakula, mm -hmm. akanenepa, mwingine akakula na mwili ukapungua. Mm. So huo inategemea I think uh, the the medicines ama the ile ile matibabu yao. Mm. Kuna huo inabadilisha mtu. Siwezi jua ni vipi lakini they are not eh, she, she was not the same na vile alivyokuwa kitambo. Mm. She changed mm. kutoka mwili, mawazo, maongezi and everything. Mm. So ikakuwa ni ugomvi mimi na yeye mm -hmm. na that's why mpaka alikuja akanitamkia akaniambia nilikupata na mtu ambaye mimi sikuwahi kumpenda kwa maisha yangu. Okay. So I was like asking myself. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa jama ni nini? So kwangu mimi sikuifuatilia kwa sababu I was still young. Mm -hmm. Na tayari ni mambo ambayo imenikumba. Mm -hmm. Ni vita, hii ni kisu ya mama, niko mm -hmm. na nyingine hapa. Mm -hmm kuna mali ya ameniuma hapa mm -hmm. so nimepitia nilipitia mateso mengi sana mm -hmm. mengi sana chini ya mama despite all ya yale yenye mimi alinifanyia yote mm -hmm. mimi bado wanampenda mimi huwa si, si nilijifunza kutoweka vitu kwa roho hakuna kama mama hakuna na uwezi pata utapata mama atakwambia mimi ni mama mm -hmm. masi atakwambia mimi ni mama yeah. but mama kwa mzazi biological you live again yeah. so Mimi sasa ile vita kwa sababu mama yangu ni mkali sana. Mm -hmm. Ile vita mimi ikanizidia. Yeah. That was then after class 8 nimesoma 374 marks nikaitwa provincial school I went. Mm -hmm. Kilifi township. Mm -hmm. Nikakuwa admitted. After kukuwa admitted nikasoma form 1 vizuri sana. Mm -hmm. Vizuri sana I think uh, the lowest score yangu ilikuwa ni B minor if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. Nikia form 1. Form 2, the moment I nili joined to Evi, tulingia, before half term, mm. my mama alikuja shule. Si tulikuwa tume rent. Yeah. By that time, ilikuwa, my mom sa hizo alikuwa kifanya kazi PZ, lakini sasa, baada ya kwamba amekuwa mgonjwa, mm. so she cannot be in a position ya kuenda tena IPZ. Okay. So ikawa, ni wale marafiki wanao mjua, mm. hey, wa msaidia Evi, Evi. Mm -hmm. Lakini sasa she became stubborn na kakua sasa amewasumbua tuwa next tenda. Kuna mtu anataka kuja kwa sababu Anapokuja ni matusi. Mm. Anapokuja ni matusi. Mm. So it became very tough. Mm -hmm. Na after time, mama lipo kuja shule. Mm -hmm. By then principal wa Cliffy Township alikuwa na ito Mr. Masharia. Mm -hmm. Mze mfupi hivi. Mm -hmm. I love that man sana. Ali, mama aliingia administration office za uh, principal basa everywhere mm. staff room akakikisha amevuruga na matusi na mambo maovu zaidi yenye aliyafanya mm -hmm. and the school administration hangeweza kutolerate that mm. na yeye chenye anasema ni kwamba anataka mtoto wake aende na yeye by that time from kilifi to bombasa ilikuwa ni mia. Mm -hmm. kilifi to bakstan ilikuwa ni mia. Mm -hmm. so akaacha mia na akasema mimi nimfuate nyumbani so nilikujua darasani na captain mm -hmm. wa shule nikakujua mm -hmm. darasani nikachukuliwa nikapelekwa dormitory nikachukuliwa box mattress and everything yangu mm -hmm. kaambiwa sasa itabidi uende nyumbani mm -hmm. then mamako ama mkishaelewana mm -hmm. ama shule kiliona na mzazi wako utarudi endelea na masomo so mimi nilipokuja home mali peni kwa tunaishi madhi alihama by that time si kama saa hii kila mtu atawa watoto wadogo akona smartphones mm -hmm. By that time mtu anapata simu ni 12 12 8 kanokia 12 8 na unapata ni mtu mmoja mmoja mhm mm zata yenyewe hiyo simu kushika kwa kwa ni shida mm -hmm. so mimi sasa nikashindwa nitapigia nani namba yenye najua kwa kichwa it's 0722743167 yeah. ambayo ilikuwa ni ya mama mhm mm haingi nitapiga ni pigie na yeye tu peke yake au kwa nini yeye yeye na ni yeye peke yake yeah. ni nani nitapigia mm -hmm. so ikabidi it's like now i i i, I became nomadic in life okay. naenda kwa huyu na kula siku tatu niende kwa huyu ni kula siku mbili yeah. hawa watu watakusaidia hivyo lakini hawezi kurudisha shule kwa mm -hmm. sababu so, mtu pia kila mtu akona mahitaji yake na familia yake na ndoa yake vitu kama hizo Yes, he or she atakusaidia lakini unapata bibi yake atasikia vibaya ama bwana yake atasikia vibaya. Mm -hmm. Na kwangu mimi si I don't like depending on someone kwa sababu once I depend on you utachoka. Hata nyimbo za Kiswahili mingizo zangu zinasema nitakuja mm -hmm. kwako siku ya kwanza ya pili hata tu mimi nataka niondoke. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu sitaki unizoe ama nikuzoe. Mm -hmm. 
So ikawa it's a very hard life. Mm -hmm. Na ndio hapo mimi kwa akili yangu nikawa nasema ah mimi ni mwanaume. Mm -hmm. Na kama imekuwa designed kama ni kofe yeah. then sawa. Cheche ni chenye tanipata. Mm -hmm. Ah ni sawa. Mimi I can say very well kwamba that's when sasa I decided I nilianza sasa kwenda kuvuta bangi. Nikaingilia bangi. Yeah. Na ni mtu tu kwa sababu tulikuwa tunaenda kuvutia bangi beach. Mm -hmm. Tunavuta na mabeshta hivyo mm -hmm. sasa kazi nazo ni kuja kuchotea watu maji mtaani mm -hmm. unalipwa 5 bob 5 bob 5 bob nikaona it is not enough mm -hmm. so i had to advance mm -hmm. na ku advance sasa ni kushikana na wajanja sasa wale waliokuwa and that's when sasa nilianza na nunuliwa ka uniform kinyasa kashati mm -hmm. by that time ni sika masaini kwa ndevu i was very young almost kama 12 years ago okay Ah, mimi bunduki zinaeko kwa bagi yangu peleka mahali fulani and i did it so it was pain yeah mm -hmm. it was pain mm -hmm. na mimi nikawa i was very much comfortable kwa sababu i, I was getting money remember that in bazari wa town ni pesa ndo mimi kwangu mimi i did that because of money and desperation ya kwamba i have now no one else Absolutely. and it's either i die or i get money that's all So mimi I had to move. Mm -hmm. Nikaendelea kusonga with time nikasonga. Nika advance sasa mpaka nikaanza sasa kufunzwa. Bunduki sasa. Mm -hmm. Nachukuliwa napelekwa side za kilifi huko. Mm -hmm. Kuna mahali huko kuna itagwa ganze. Mm -hmm. Kwa msitu. Sasa unafunzwa kupiga risasi. Although unafunzwa ku aim lakini hufunzwe kupiga risasi kwa so they don't have uh, bullets to waste. Yeah ni ile unafunzwa tu ku aim lakini huwezi funzo kufanya nini mm -hmm. na ile unapewa ile kushika ile confidence ya kwamba tunaweza pita mal you have it and uh, mm -hmm. huwezi kuwa notice mm -hmm. so mimi nikaona nimekuwa pro i can work on it mm -hmm. twende kazi na wale wenye nilikuwa niko nao walikuwa wananipenda kwa sababu i was very sharp wow. sasa vitu mingi ni watu wazima lakini i, I, I guess i was giving them ideas mm -hmm. Na hata nawapatia tip of say mahali fulani pakopoa mahali fulani pakopoa hivyo mm. so they listen to me and we had we advanced mpaka tukafika to a point ya kwamba mm. we can now go na tukienda mimi i can see all the robberies that we went mm. na bunduki yeah. na panga yeah. na kisu i thank god hakuna silaha yoyote yenye shaikuumiza anyone mwenye mm -hmm. tushaenda mm. hakuna hapo nyuma sasa hakuna yeah. mtu yote Hizi silaha zilikuwa zinatumika kutishia ndio tupatie ile kitu yenye tunata, tunataka. Mm, That's all. Lakini hakuna siku yenye iliwahi kuumiza. Ilikuwa ya kutishia. Ilikuwa ni ya kutishia. Mm -hmm. So tukasonga songa. So by that time we started terrorizing sasa. Bamburi, Nyali, mm -hmm. Kizingo, Diani, mm -hmm. North Coast Kilifi. Yeah. Sasa na mtu hapa tunahakikisha kwa siku roba tatu. Mm -hmm pesa tuko nayo mm -hmm. by that time nikaanza kulewa when i was very young mm -hmm. sasa nalewa nafuta banki mm -hmm. sigara nikaanza kuvuta mm -hmm. nikahama jomvu mahali penye sasa nimezaliwa yeah. nikahamia bamburi kwa so maisha sasa hapo ikawa sasa ha, niko na do i think na on everything everything is now iko sawa i'm very young mm -hmm. i was in a even in a position hata Niko na uwezo hata saa hizo. Nilikuwa naweza simamisha hata msichana ambaye amenipita hizo more than 10 years. Yeah. Na hizi niambia kitu kwa saa hii. I have money yeah, by that time. Yeah. So mimi nikasonga siku maliza that was a 2013 sasa mm. mwezi wa kumi. Mm. 2013 mwezi wa kumi, it was on a Friday. Sisi saa memory yangu ni mzuri sana. It was on a Friday morning. Kulikuwa kuna nyesha. Nilikuwa saa hizo natumia simu ya LG. Ka smartphone plan ya LG. Ilikuwa ni ka smartphone plan ya LG. Mm -hmm. So kuna meeting yenye tulikuwa tuna suppose twende tukutane kwa sababu tulikuwa na kama ka kikundi. Okay. Ambako ka kikundi mm. kana mpaka sheria zake. Na kuna mkubwa, kuna mpaka ule mdogo, kuna huyu ndiye anaeka bunduki, huyu ndiye atakayebeba panga, huyu ndiye atakayebeba kisu. Mm. Huyu ndiye dereva atakaye tutoa kwa sin. Mm. Huyu ndiye dere, huyu ndiye sasa kwangu mimi mm. mahali penye walikuwa wameniachia and I was very young by that time. Mm -hmm. 
mali penye walikuwa wameniachia ni kwamba atakayechukua ATM I'm the one now to verify everything kwamba zile details vile amepeana ziko sawa kwa sababu hawa watu ni watu wazima but they were not learning mm-hmm. so mimi kidogo na kasamu kangu kufika form 2 mm-hmm. by the way thank god kwamba mi primary yenye nilisomea it's a very very it's one of the best schools in Mombasa county mm-hmm. so na ilikuwa private mm-hmm. so at least ni kidogo nilikuwa hata kama si mjinga vile lakini nilikuwa so what happened mm-hmm. on that friday nimetoka kwa cyber nimebeba bag ilikuwa na laptop hiyo laptop ilikuwa tunaenda zitozipeleke mm-hmm. ziflashiwe tukazipeleka kwa mabroker okay na simu zilikuwa tumeenda robari kama juzi hivi. Mm-hmm. So tulipoenda hiyo siku mimi nilipo sasa nikitoka kwa cyber hivi mali pe ndipo naenda kukutania kwa sababu tulikuwa tumerent paka kanyumba ka mkutano mm-hmm. peke yake. Mm-hmm. Sasa nikaona kuna magari sizielewi lakini sasa jana yake ilikuwa na siku ya Idi mm-hmm. kubwa. So nilipo akili yangu ikaniambia hawa labda wanamalizia pati yao ya jana wa islamu nini mm-hmm. so siku na ile in suspense kwamba labda ni maaskari ama kitu kama hiyo mm-hmm. mimi nikasonga tu nikafululiza kwa sababu nilikuwa naenda mahali kunaitwa masters mhm lazima nimetoka mahali kunaitwa fisheries bamboo mhm naingia na vichochoro ndani ndani so nilipo songa songa zile gari mahali penye zina zikapark nikiangalia sioni watu mm-hmm. gari ziko empty Ay. so mimi akili yangu haiko niambia nipige simu ni uambie niulize wale jamaa kwani kuna kashughuli yote kuna party mtaani mm. mimi niliona wacha tu nienda mahali pale tunakutanianga mm. at least nijue kunaendaje mm. so mimi nikapanda barabara so by the time nafika hapo mbele na ile raia kuna raia sasa inaniangalia mahali penye mimi natoka mm. so nashindwa hii raia inaangalia ni so kuangalia nyuma hivi ni maaskari plain clothes more than 25 of them what ak47 sasa kwa sababu i was used na bunduki yeah. i never had that fear mm-hmm. so mimi simama tu kando wakapita ai habari zenu mzuri nini ah. na wakapita mm-hmm. so it was like they are trying wao wanapita na main road mm-hmm. lakini mimi napita na na shortcut mm-hmm. so the shortcut that i used mm-hmm. nilifika mbele yao kwa ile nyumba mm-hmm. na pale kwa ile nyumba nikifika mm-hmm. nilipata mwenzangu mmoja mmoja akiwa ndani na mmoja akiwa mlangoni mhm nilipo wapata alikuwa anaitwa Moridhi kaniuliza Moridhi mhm eh kuna mamwera naona sijui anaenda wa hebu wow. jotu angalie noma inaenda wapi labda ni kama inaenda masters mhm little did i know kwamba ni sisi ndio tumefuatwa you are the target we are the target So na hapo mahali penye tunakutania mm. last week yake mm. kulikuwa kumeshikwa watu watano na DCI. Mm-hmm. Wakauwa watu watatu wawili mm-hmm. wakapelekwa jela. Hata tuliwapata jela mpaka mmoja akawa amechomwa na makatrej za risasi huko kwa mgongo. Mm-hmm. So nilipotoka hivi kuna kakona hapo hivyo. Nikipiga kona hivi ndio nimeonyesha mrithi hebu angalia. Mm-hmm. So unajua ni kwa mdogo. Mm-hmm yule CID mwenye alikuwa mbele aliokota hivi kama kakaratasi mhm tukarudishwa hivyo ndani mm-hmm. nikatupanishwa na mlango ndani changanya Uwe. vita wacha yaanzia hapo mimi kwa maisha yangu mm-hmm. i think hakuna kipigo yenye niwahi kupokea kama hiyo and it hadn't me nilipigwa kipigo yenye sijawahi ile kipigo ya kwamba mm-hmm. before uelezea ama ueleweke we ni nani tukawa tumepigwa sana. So tukatolewa kwa sasa hizo uwezi hata kutembea tukawekwa hapo nje. Mhm. So rajia nani kuja ama kamera. So they were like, "Eh, hey, DK, ni nini?" Kwa sababu so, mtani walikuwa wananiita DK. DK, ni nini? Kwani? Kuna ndani. Kwani kuna kwa sababu so, I was very friendly to people. Hakuna mtu aliwaijua kwamba maybe I am involved in my, my, I involve myself in crime mm-hmm. ama drugs ama anything. Mm-hmm. They just saw me kwa sababu so, there was no day ungeni why niona nikiwa mlevi. Yeah. There was no day when I knew that I was going to be armed. I was very 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 smart. I was very smart. Mm-hmm. So mimi ndio hao tukachukuliwa. Mm-hmm. The best thing che kilifanya tusi wawe. Mm-hmm. DCI alikuwa DCI alikuwa hapo. Alikuwa anaitwa Mr. Paul Kioko. Mm-hmm. Mfupi hivi alikuwa mzee kipara akona mm-hmm. macho nne. Mhm. Ndio alifanya tusi wawe. 
lakini the target of those guys walikuwa kutua kwa sababu after kutafuta bunduki wakazikosa mm. so their target their main target ilikuwa kutua mm. tukapelekwa bamburi police mm. bamburi police tulipopelekwa tukagawanywa tulipogawanywa mimi na mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Morithi mm. tukabakishwa wa bamburi police watatu sasa si tumeshikwa tukiwa watatu yeah. but there were two guys eh Mm -hmm. Our two guys mmoja alikuwa dereva wetu mm -hmm. na mmoja ndiye alikuwa kama master planner wetu. Mm -hmm. So wao walikuwa wanakuja mm -hmm. si tukawa tumefika mbele. Lakini sasa kulingana ile ambush yenye wao walikuwa melee mm -hmm. CID kwa so there were so many. Yeah. Kama kuna kinyozi ilikuwa na inaimba zima, kwako kuna mziki zima. Everything it was hakuna movement ya raia wa kawaida, mm -hmm. hakuna magari na move. Mm -hmm. So wale before they came to know kwamba wameingia katikati it was very late. Mm -hmm. Tukachanganya tukakuwa watu watano. Ndio hao sasa watatu wakapelekwa nyali police. Mm -hmm. Wawili tukabakishwa bamburi. Mm -hmm. So after kubakishwa bamburi sasa ni mahojiano. Wewe una mjua fulani. Mm -hmm. Kule ule mtu fulani anasema yeye anakujua. Wewe na huku nasema humjui. Mm -hmm. So wakaona hawa these people are one. Alafu the worst thing ni ile nyumba tulikuwa kila mtu ametoa ufunguo. Mm. So kila mtu akona ufunguo ile nyumba. Mm. Walibeba kufuli. And that is one trick yenye wao wanatumia. Mm. Wanabeba kufuli, wanakuchukula funguo zako. Wana try every key kama itafungua. Mm. Okay. Yako ikifungua inaekwa hapa, mm. wewe umeekwa hapo kando. Hapo kwa group wanakuchukua wa pili. Mm. So that is what they did and they noticed kwamba all the keys zinafungua kufuli moja. What? So hakuna vile tungeruka. Hakuna hakuna ku, kuruka. Tukapelekwa na kufungua ya hiyo place. Yeah, so tukapelekwa nini kuchukua fingerprints. Mm -hmm. Ikiona Sunday. Monday ilikuwa ni siku kuu bado. Mhm. Mm ilikuwa siku eh ilikuwa siku kuu bado. So Monday atakupelekwa koti ndio lipelekwa Tuesday. Tuesday. So tukachukua fingerprint tukachanganya sasa tukaikwa police station moja. Mm -hmm. Na kwa so complainant mwenye tulimfanyia mm -hmm. yeah, by the he was forced. That man was forced and I can say it. Mm -hmm. Even the Kenyan government and I talk it without fear. Yeah. The DCI even if mtu mwenye uwevo will be listening even if you are a DCI office or a police officer kwangu mimi i don't fear anything mm -hmm. i will i will only say this eh? mm -hmm. you are not supposed to fault something yenye mm -hmm. mtu hataki yeah. kwa sababu this man alisema hao vijana mm -hmm. they waliniibia no one hurt me yeah. mimi naomba tu waachi waachi na mtu ajitafutie maisha mm -hmm. mimi sina ubaya but they forced and they forced him that they are going to arrest him if at all he is not going to testify What? Yeah. So ikabidi. Mhm. Mm Situkapelekwa kotini Mombasa Law Courts. That was on 22nd of October. Na sasa hiyo how Tuesday. old are you that time? Saizo niko 14 years. Okay. 14. Mhm. Mm Tukapelekwa kotini. Tulipopelekwa kotini, kukapelekwa court number 7 ya madam moja alikuwa anaitwa Ari Ndogoro. Mm -hmm. And I can say this Uo majisiri alikuwa na roho mbaya sana. Mbaya mm. sana. Mm. Ah. Mbaya sana. So akatusomea eh inaitwa je plea. Mm. Kutusomea plea kesi ya robbery with violence stroke to county mbili. The first one ya, ni count ya complainant. Mm. The second count ni ya uyu watchman wake wa gate. Mm. And no one was hurt although simu zao kwa sababu by that time walikuwa kuna simu kubwa kubwa blackberry that time ilikuwa ni simu nyingine kubwa sana sana so hizo ndio tulibeba laptop mm. tukaenda tuka withdraw pesa yake na e, unajua kidogo security features za hiyo wakati si kama sasa hii yeah. kwa sababu so managed kuchukua ATM yake mm. na we managed kwenda by that time ilikuwa ni nakomati ya nyali mm. naenda there the was the ATM ya imperial by that time na tukaenda tuka withdraw do 20000 Mm -hmm. Na another after hiyo usiku. Mhm. Mm Tukaidhuru another 20,000. So hivyo ndipo tulifanya. Yeah. So hata tukishikwa mm -hmm. one of us alishikwa na eti ya complainant. Mm -hmm. So kesi ikakuwa complicated na tukawa tuna mimi kwangu mimi nikaa najua. Mm -hmm. That's it. Hakuna, so tukasomoa bonda. 
Tukasomoa bonde 4 million. Surety. Sasa kwa ngumi mimi nikawa najiuliza. Sawa yes, I have been spending a lot. Mm-hmm. 4 million that were happy. 4 million is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Yeah. It's a surety yes lakini nitatoa wapi? Mhm. Tukapelekwa shimo la tewa. Nilipoingia shimo la tewa hivi kunaitwa kukaba. Kukaba ni ile kukalia miguu hivi. Mm. Maybe kuna baadhi ya watu wenye wanaelewa hiyo kukaba. Mm-hmm. Kuna mahali jela inaitwa kwa kimya. That is the first uh, mahali penye unapata kaza ni duty office, amari mm-hmm. documentation remands office mm-hmm. iko hapo katikati. Mhm. Mahali penye kuna security. Mm-hmm inaitwa duty office inaitwa kwa kimya yeah inaitwa kimya kwa so it's usually supposed to be silent ever mm-hmm. haufai kupiga kelele hapo mm-hmm. hata askari mwenyewe hafai kupiga kelele hapo yeah. so tulipofika hapo hata watu sasa ndio wanakaba askari anasema wewe kijana mdogo wewe 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 usikae wewe ni mdogo sana kuja hapa mm-hmm. so i went there tukakaa na yaka niuliza eh na wewe umeshikiwa nini robbery violent kesi gani hebu Kawambia bunduki. Eh? Kesi ya bunduki? Mm. Anaambia yule askari mwenye tumetoka na wao koti. Hebu hebu kwa nafahamu kesi ya unaitwa nani? Kaambia Derek Kariuki kama. Mm. Kwa sababu I had to change that name. Kwa sababu mimi mm. eh nini yangu living ya class 8 mm. imeandikwa Wangui Derek Kariuki. Mm. Lakini sasa I didn't want to use that Wangui yes. when I was in prison. So I just did Derek Kariuki kama. Mm. What I did mm-hmm. akaitisha warrant yangu. Asome ya confirm kweli hii ni robbery ama mtu ananipatia story. Mhm. Sasa akaangalia akaniuliza sasa wewe wewe umeibia nani? Shuali. Sasa wakubwa wengine ana wanamwambia hao wenye unaona hawa they are the worst people. Hatari. Hatari sana. Mm-hmm. By that time pia ndio ile kipindi unasikia kuna wale wakali kwanza kisauni. Mm. vijana wakali kwanza na ni watoto wadogo 11 10 years walikuwa wanaangaisha watu sana mm. so akawa anamwambia huyu askari anamwambia aweza kuwa ni wakali kwanza hawa so tuka admitiwa jela e. na by that time kweli during my times wakati ambao nilikuwa robbery yeah. udogo wangu mimi nilikuwa nakutumia kama ngao sana mm. such that even if i'm coming to order you to do something siwezi kukaribia kwa sababu ni mdogo mm and i'll have to use the necessary force yenye inahitajika mm-hmm. to make sure kwamba umenipata chenye nataka although i'll not hurt you mm-hmm. so tulipoingia ndani ya jela mm-hmm. this is my first time kuingia prison kuangalia ukuta kwanza hivi mm-hmm. na hesabu mawe moja moja mawe ya nine mm-hmm. ya shimo la tewa mm-hmm. mawe moja moja mawe 17 alafu kuna kale ka plate ka juu na kuna hizi kama maring beam mm-hmm. Hey. Kiangalia sasa unaona kisugu zile ma watch tower na askari wako juu kila mtu na shughuli zake. So it was like sasa tukachanganywa tukatawanyishwa tuka si tuko watano. Yeah. Sisi tukaingia watu watatu tukaingia block inaitwa mix block. Mhm. Wawili wakaingia capital. Capital block. Mm-hmm. So capital is usually for robbery cases specifically peke yake remand is. Mm-hmm. Mixed block ni ya robbery na watu wa mada. Mm-hmm. So I was I was having that fear ee watu wa waji how how will i lakini they are so friendly they are so friendly walikuwa watu wazuri sana mm-hmm. and uh, huyo ndiye atakuwa brother yako for the next 5 10 years yeah huyo ndiye mtakuwa mnakula pamoja everything you will do together mm-hmm. kuoga is everything together mm-hmm. so lazima utamzoea na atakuzoea it's not like you have an option ah, ah huna option yeah. unajua unaishi inavyotakikana si mm-hmm. vile wewe unataka yeah so Mimi sasa the best thing ni kwamba people try to ile kujaribu kuni 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 kujia kwa sababu I was very young yeah. na I think when I was in prison eh gaze him yeah iko high rate mm-hmm. na huwa watu wadogo sana wachukua advantage although you are never forced mm-hmm. hapana you are never forced so wengi walitaka kunichukulia advantage lakini sasa I had that backup mm kwa tuko watu watano and the rest four ni watu vya huge yeah. na wanajulikana kama ni wa bunduki so there was that kafia mm-hmm. so mimi tukakaa kwenda koti we went for three good years bila kufanya kesi mm-hmm. ne mention to last yeah. mnatoa last kwamba mnaambiwa mkija tarehe fulani kama complainer atakuja mnaachiliwa mm-hmm. mkifika hiyo last magistrate yuko mm-hmm. 
mkija siku nyingine mention mnaenda more than 5 months amjaifanya kesi mm. and i say this the judiciary ya hii Kenya yetu mm. it was working only when maraga was there the rest hakuna kitu wenye wafanya and i can say it with my confidence na siogopi mtu yote mm. so what happened ni kwamba baada ya kwamba tumeanza kufanya kesi mm. ushahidi sasa ni kama ule complainer sasa alipona amekuwa forced akasema sasa waja ni peane ushahidi wote yeah. sasa yeye yeah, aliongea na kusema complainer anataongea na sema yule kijana mdogo mm. he was very good kwanza kumbe ndiye ananiingiza kwa kitendo vizuri mm-hmm. kwa sana sema yule kijana mdogo alikuwa mzuri sana he was not violent yeye ndiye alikuwa na confirm pin zangu za ATM yana hatakuwa na maneno na yeye mm. hata yeye mimi kichwa yangu mahali penye ilikuwa nimekaa chini yeye ndiye alikuwa amekaa hapo mm-hmm. na tulikuwa with a very good talk na yeye mm-hmm. sasa yeye kwa kiye anaona kiongea hivyo ndio mimi atanitoa kwa kitendo Kumbia but sasa ndiye anani fix mm-hmm. sasa mimi kukaa jela mwaka wa kwanza wa pili wa tatu wa nne ah, sasa nikaona sasa this is home yeah kesi yenye niko nayo hukumu yake ni mbili mm. ni moja kwanza is only death sentence mm-hmm. kwa sababu umekuwa umeshtakiwa na section 295 mm. na ukihukumiwa unahukumiwa una na section 296 mm. ya penal code mm-hmm. ambapo hukumu ya hukumu ya robbery stroke 2 ni kifo that's mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. so kwangu mimi nikawa najua yani hata hata nikipatikana hatia na waseme kwamba mashini ngurumisho kamiti kwa sababu mashini iko kamidi ya kunyonga watu mm. basi ni mimi nitakuwa kwa msururu mhm sasa mimi nikaanza jipatie hope ya maisha ya kwamba mimi naweza toka yeah. so mimi nikaanza sasa zile kazi za jela kawaida so i am now used nimefanywa librarian shukwa so i was very sharp by that time mhm i yakoa accused wangu na amefanywa in charge wa block mm-hmm. ah tukaona mimi nikaona kwanza nimefika mhm sasa ndio simulatewa mhm nikaanza sasa kuuza marufuku kuza marufuku marufuku ni hizi bangi rosta hii mm-hmm. ugoro mm-hmm. E, simu lines hivyo so by that time tulikuwa si kama size security features za kila kitu size ime change mm-hmm. simu size ilikuwa ni tuli tunokia tu 1280 tu itel uto tu 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 wenye sahi kana uzo dhao na dhao mbili dhao mbili dhao moja na 500 yeah au kasi mu inquisition by that time ilikuwa ikiwa bia chini sana ni dhao kumi prison eh so ni ile unanunua simu zako nje kama ni simu 50 mm. unatafuta njia yenye zitaingizwa kuna wale maaskari wenye utatumia mm. and i can only say this na serikali isikie kumaliza marufuku jela huwa wafungwa wote na huwa askari wote mhm uanze upya mm. marufuku itaisha jela yeah. but once askari yuko Mm-hmm. na mfungwa yuko and i'm saying this kwanza na tetea prison as most of the time mm. every day mnawasumbua na search but my question is huyo mfungwa hatokagi akaenda dukani kununua kitu yeah. then who else nani huenda you are supposed that's to deal me. with your officers that's mm. all so mimi that time nikaingilia sasa kuvuta unga heroin mm. i even have uh, nile labda ziweze nikana vizuri but niko na alama zenye so ziliniacha mm hata hiyo niko na simu zaidi ya hamsini nimeajiri watu mm-hmm. line ya safari kwa msa hizo ilikuwa ni punch na hiyo hata ilikuwa ni three so mm-hmm. si kama saa hii ni dhao na mia saba yeah. nikaajiri watu nikaa nimefungua kampuni kwa sababu jela ukiwa na 1285 kanoki ya 12 hiyo katululu mm-hmm. ukiwa na tano mm-hmm. umezidi mtu mwenye akona madhiri mbili hapa raia mm-hmm. madhiri wajana na matatu madhiri yenyewe So nikawa naona sasa niko na daily income ya more than 40 50k. Mm. Na nivuta unga kwa sababu natumia nani? Hakuna. Sina mtoto. Mama, alafu najua kama alikutoka. Eh alafu najua any time naweza nyongwa. So you leave the moment. I'm just living that moment hivyo. Mm-hmm. Ah mimi nikasonga nalo nikasonga vuta unga sasa mpaka ikawa sielewi by the days tukianza kuvuta unga mm. we were three good people. Mm. Mimi my co accused wote tukakosana na wao kwa sababu they never wanted me kuvuta unga okay tukaanza kuvuta mimi unga 
na mimi na jamaa moja maremu anaitwa Newton mm -hmm. from a very rich family actually mm -hmm. his death iliuma everyone in prison mm -hmm. and then uh, there is another guy a graduate mm -hmm. Misoy. Ken Misoy, yeah. a very good friend of mine mm -hmm. actually it's only that i am not capable lakini i could go visit him once one once in a prison mali penye yuko jela sai and say ako jela ako jela okay. although he is into drugs so much mm -hmm. so mimi kuvuta unga nile tunavuta unga sote tuko mm -hmm. na masomo kiasi although masomo yango mimi haijafika kama hao jamaa huyu ni graduate huyu ameenda mpaka disjuni diploma so huyu amesomea nini mm -hmm. lakini tukija kwa table hivi chenye tunaongelea sote tunaelewana iko sawa mhm mm even it's something ambao mimi I, I was even sa zingine mpaka kuna watu wa form 3 and they were coming there na ka and uh, namba tunawasaidiana mm -hmm. and i was in a position ya kwamba naona kwamba there was something good in me yenye naweza pass mm -hmm. so ule unga nilipovuta nikaanza sasa najua kuuza simu moja moja eh. kwa sasa sasa najua unga nao jela huwa kunatumika ama mateja wote mahali penye utasikia mteja mteja ni mtu mwenye anavuta unga mm -hmm mteja akisema kwamba mtu ni mtoto wa Kihindi yani haachiki yeah. mara nyingi unapooa mwanamke wa Kihindi kumwacha ni ngumu mm. so it the same same na unga mm. yani unapooa unga kuacha ni ngumu mhm acha tuvute unga sasa there was nothing else tukauza simu zetu zote mm. tukaajiriwa tukaanza mba kuibia wadosi kwa sababu sasa unajua kuiba nayo yenye tulikuwa tunaiba most of the time mm -hmm. ilikuwa ni ile tunakupigia tunakuzawadi promotions vitu kama hizo mhm mm kuuza maplot yenye hakuna magari hakuna mhm mm eh mara unaambua kitu fulani tuta deliver vitu kama hizo mhm app za jumia vitu kama hizi jumia sasa jiji kutumia watu message Eh hey, mm. sasa unajua nayo mara tunakutumia message za kina KCB mpisa soft loan ama boresha maisha na equity mm. vitu kama hizo it's something ambayo I, I can even edit even now but mm. I quit that siyezifanya mm. so unatumia sasa kazi ni kusubscribe una subscribe messages more than messages 10000 mm. you send the messages overnight yeah. ama during the day yeah. kesho yake simu inapigwa kama customer care The only thing ni mtu wewe piga na simu nyingine ubadilishe. Mm. Yako shike kwa mkono. And then you take into Mpesa. Pesa yako hunyang'anywa kwa nguvu. Hapana? Mm. Wewe mwenyewe ndio unaweka pin. And that's why unapataga hizo fraud cases mingi zenye mtu ameoibia kwa jela. Mm. The only thing yenye wewe inakushindia pale police station ama kwa Safaricom. What this one thing wanakueleza? Ni nani aliyeka pin? Pini nani anajua? As long mimi. as wewe ndo ulipea na Wewe ndo uliweka pin. Eh. So the only thing yenye wao wanafanya ni kufunga line ya yule aliyekuwa amekupigia. Alafu the one thing ni kwamba kuibiwi kwa Airtel. Airtel ni nakupigia lakini kuibiwi utaibiwa na Safaricom. Ni safari mnapiga Safaricom. Eh kwa sababu Safaricom it, 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 ni network ambayo almost karibu everyone in Kenya ako nayo. Yeah. So mimi sasa tukasonga hivyo unga baada ya kuvuta atakoti tukilikuwa sasa tukienda mm -hmm. ah mimi naona hata yani ni ile kwanza ni kama ni wananyaribia muda mhm mm hiyo siku ambayo unaona yani nita waste hiyo siku mzima mm -hmm. kwa sababu unajua nitaenda kotini nitarudi nikiwa nimechoka mhm mm la pili sitakuwa nimevuta unga unga ndio ilikuwa kitu muhimu ah, wacha nikwambie mhm mm na siongee vibaya mm -hmm. and i'm trying to do something that ambayo i can help all the addicts specifically heroin. Mm -hmm. Mteja afadhali umkate mkono. Mm. Unaona saa hii uchukue unga. Mm. Gram moja saa hii around 2800 yeah. ya unga. Mm -hmm. Uchukue gram kumi Not even eh, kumi peke yake. Uweke hapa. Na uchukue mteja mvuta junga mwenyewe vizuri mwenye anaelewa unga ni nini. Mm -hmm. Amevuta for some years. Mm -hmm uchukue umweke hapa umwambie chagua gram kumi za unga paketi moja ya rosta na kiberiti ama uachiliwe 
Yaani upewe hii na ukae jela. Mm. Ama upewe hii uende. Wewe mm. tukuache bila chochote. Atakwambia wewe nipatie unga nikae kae. Mm. Kwa sababu it's one thing I can say hero in substance ambayo unaumwa. Mm. Una uwezo wa kula. Mm -hmm. Dehydration kwa mwili and it's a lot of pain 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 ambayo severe pain yenyewe huwezi kuvumilia yeah. that's why you see mteja atakukata panga mm. bila ataibia mpaka mamake mm. atafanya all sort of bad things mpaka kwa mzazi wake mwenyewe mm. na si mapenzi ya huyo mtu ukitaka kujua mzuri wa huyo mtu akiacha unga that's when you will now to come to know the difference ya kwamba wale ile chenye alikuwa na consume mm ndio ilikuwa mbaya. Mm -hmm. So mimi what happened baada ya kwamba nimevuta unga sana mm -hmm. nikaona hii sasa mimi mimi imetosha. Mm -hmm. Nimeacha nikae hivyo tu. Mm -hmm. Na nikae jela kwa sababu sina mtu anakuja kunitembelea that is five years down the line. Yes. Hakuna mtu ashawahi kuniconfirmia niko wapi. Hakuna mtu anashughulika. Hakuna follow up. Yoyote. Hakuna follow up yoyote. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a family. My fa my family is prison yeah. and that's all. Mm -hmm. So nikiwa hivyo hivyo navuta unga there was a Joho. Mm -hmm. Asan Joho. Mm -hmm. That man is a great man. Asan Joho is a great man. Mm -hmm. Of all the people Asan Joho is a great man. He came to prison. Mm -hmm. And we had to tell him kwa sababu his brother his brother Abu Joho Mhm. Mm Aliwahi soma na a guy he is, in, he is still in prison. Mm -hmm. Ambaye this guy walikuwa nasoma pamoja Serani. Yeah. Serani boys. Mm -hmm. So nani asanjeo the moment ni alikuja. Mhm. Mm Tukijua tukamwelezea. Mimi ni yote na Ken Misoi. Mm -hmm. Tukamwambia we are drug addicts na tumejaribu kuacha tumeshindwa. Yes. Na kile tukijaribu kuacha una mvutaji unga unavutaka unga ujioni. Mhm. Mm Ukiwa unasema mm -hmm kesho sivuti nimeacha the moment yenye uko na hiyo joint hivi umeshika hivi unavuta mm. unasema kesho sivuti but ngoja ya asubuhi ifike unasikia garosto noma kwanza hiyo kuamka but nzuri ukue na pesa yeah. unasikia kama inakukuna kuna hivi hiyo pesa huwa mm. zikana hiyo lazima uitumie mm -hmm. so asanjo alipokuja tukamwelezea ni tola zoki he is going to communicate with the Richard Center Trust mm -hmm. na he is going to communicate with Mewa actually mm -hmm. he did some communications na wali tutembelea prison and they came waka notice kwamba there are so many addicts yeah. in prison yeah. na unajua jela jela za Kenya mm -hmm. I can say they are not prisons anymore mm -hmm. na isasema ni hoteli ni freedom mtu mtu ananyuma kwamba hezi enda yeah. mm -hmm. kwa sababu what is out here is inside there. Mm. They are supposed to regulate somehow. There are some things ambayo are supposed to regulate. Mm -hmm. And they are not supposed to be hard on prisoners. They are supposed to be hard on officers. Mm -hmm. So all these things in Nigeria na askari. Yeah. Same fungwa. Mhm. Mm they are Mfungwa a prisoner is not using a drone to get whatever chenye no. Anatumia huyo mlango hiyo yenye hiyo yenye iko na mpaka everything. Security, Security yote. Hiyo mm -hmm. ndio anatumia. So we are supposed to blame the officers, not even the prisoners. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu ya nini? Uo likula kiapo, kama askari. Kwamba utakuwa mwaminifu. Mm -hmm. Kwa the government of Kenya. Yeah. Then later on, wewe, mm -hmm. ndiyo unachukua ya simu na weka ndani, unakuja na. Mm -hmm. So, mimi 2016, mwezi wa nane, tare ya sala simu. Mm -hmm kwenda judgment. Eh. Mm. Lokot sasa. Tulipo na judgment. Mimi hata nikaa yani ile ati ile kale ka feeling kwamba atanaweza achiliwa. Mm. Ah. Mimi hata nilikuwa naona una hope. Ah, Siku ana hope kwa sababu I see ile evidence yenye imekuwa adduced kwa water tight. Mm. Kila mtu akiangalia file yako hivi anakuambia eh 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 bro. Eh. Eh kesi yenu ni ngumu. Mm. Haina shida Mungu atasaidia. Mm. Hiyo tu ndio mtu anakuwa anakuambia Mungu atasaidia. Mm -hmm. So, na si ati ni ngumu kwa sababu mliuga ama mlikata mtu mapanga ama mlipiga mtu risasi. No, evidence mm -hmm. yenye inaonekana kwamba it's you. 
hiyo sasa ndio ilikuwa ni shida mm. so ikabidi tulipoenda sasa ikiwa na on friday that is august mm-hmm. 2016 court number 7 na Irene Rogoro magistrate sasa hizo prosecutor alikuwa ni chief inspector Yunis tulipoenda asubuhi akatuambia judge menda asome asubuhi atasoma saa nane. Mm. Judgment yetu ilisomwa saa na moja na nusu jioni. Ambapo hata si masaa ya kama kwa inafanya kazi. Mm. Lakini hakutaka kutusomea mchana aliona ni kama hawa naweza kuna kitu inaweza fanyika. Mm. So alipotusomea hata alisoma tu uh, points, mm. main points na akasema kwamba mmehukumiwa death sentence, hukumu ya kifo. Mm. Right of appeal within 14 days. Mimi hata haiku ni hit mm. kama hao wengine. Hao wengine ndio wana watu wameshtuka lakini for me I was very much comfortable nilikuwa naona ah si poa tu. Mm-hmm. Unajua hawa wengine they have kids, mm-hmm. they have wives, mm-hmm. wako na mama zao, wako na baba zao. So for me there is no one. Yeah, so mimi naona poa yeah. tu. Eh yeah. mimi kwangu mimi nilikuwa nakuta poa no. Ah. Mm-hmm. Tukaenda jela. Acha sasa nifungulie mzuri sasa kuvuta unga. Kwanza hata kutukumaliza mwezi transfer manyani. Zile siku zote ilikuwa tu ni kukaa kuna bando judgment iko imefanywa. Si ni ile mnaenda kiasi mnafanya mnaenda hearings. Yeah. Hearing mnaenda leo inaruka mnapoa miezi tatu ama miezi nne. Mm. Mkifika judge yuko. Mm-hmm. Magistrate yuko. Unapoa yani unapata mmekuja kutana na magistrate after nine months. Alafu hiyo siku shahidi na alichoka kuja hakuji. Anaanza kupewa last adjournment. Mm. Naye akipewa last siku nyenye amekuja kuna mtu kwa koti ya yuko mm. that is the problem with our judicial system mm. hata wakasema siji kuna backlog ya cases backlog ya cases highlight kwa sababu at there are many people ambao wanashikwa mm. i can say there are enough judges there are enough magistrate lakini mm. whatever chenye wanafanyanga mm. sasa kama judge ataenda at lunch saa tano arudi saa nane seriously saa tano mpaka saa nane mm. si hapo anaweza kuwa ameshughulikia kesi hata tatu yeah. na wako majaji wengi So sisi tukasimamia manyani. Mimi na kwa accused mm-hmm. mmoja. Mwingine akakuja na transfer yenye nafuata. Na unajua unapigwa transfer kwa sababu as a life prison ama condemned prison ufai kukaa jela moja more than three months. Oh. Kwa sababu ya security. Mm-hmm. Na aso mkiwa nyote watano hivyo, wao mna suppose mgawanyo kwanza ikiwezekana mnafaa kila mtu akae jela tofauti tofauti. So kwangu mimi nikaona lakini sasa manyani mm. kama hii Kenya nzima kuna jela yenye yani tunaweza sema hiyo ni jela mm. wajana na hizo nyingine kina kamiti shimalatewa na ivasha kibosco diaga mm-hmm. kingongo mm. hizo ni hoteli manyani ndio jela manyani ndio jela manyani unaamka saa mbili saa mbili na nusu saa tatu mm. na kulala by saa tisa na ushakula eh saa tisa eh Manyani it not the type of prison kama shimulatewa atutaagiza kitunguu tomato nyanya cabbage ukatakate vile unavotaka nyama uletoe hata mbichi ukatekate uende upike mwenyama upikiwe ama upike kwa nyumba mm. Manyani <laughs> eh nakwambia kama kuna jela Manyani mapitishi waga maji hivi maji ya sukuma mm. usha kupika chai rangi eh sawa so, ukichungulia ndani hivi mm. sasa jaribu kuichukua umeweka kwa sufuria Alafu umechukua ile sukuma, matawi yake ikiwa hivyo hivyo nzima. Iko hivyo. Sasa baada nzuri kikupata kinusu nusu kile kipande kimoja kinusu cha sukuma, matawi moja ya sukuma sawa. Ikikukosa we songa. Yeah, na, ug- e, na ugali yenyewe ujue iko uji uji. Yaani na iko moto. Hailiki ni mpaka uende uiweke mahali uende kwa somaji ni baridi nayo kwa sababu imetoka huko Kilimanjaro. Mm. Uchukue bakuli nyingine kubwa uweke maji. Mm uchukua hii hii yenye unapewa chakula na inaitwa scale B. Mm. Scale B huwa yani hiyo si, jina siwezi jua ilitokaga wapi. Mm. Lakini scale B ni kitu ambayo unapakuliwa na chakula sasa. Mm. Ration ya mfungo ni inaitwa scale scale B. Mm-hmm. So ugali unaweka, unaenda unaweka kwa hiyo maji. Ndio at least ikue, ipoe, iku, ishikane. Yeah. Manyani hata wale wenye kuja kutest chakula. Mm-hmm. Ha test kwamba atinaweza kudhuru. Mhm. Yeye test aone kwamba haiwezi kukuua. Yeah. Kukudhuru tu ati mambo ya kwamba atinaweza arisha kutapika. Hiyo mm-hmm. it's just normal. Mm-hmm. Lakini labda kama ime advance saa hii that is 
two years down the line mm -hmm. right now kutoka nitoke prison i have two years and some five days yeah. kwa sababu nitoka ikiwa siku ya mashuja 2021 sasa mm -hmm. mimi eh nikafika manyani kazi ni ile ile ukifika kwa sababu unajua ni kama vile saa hii ukienda Nairobi town unasikia ah supermarket mzuri ni Naivas ama ni Quick Mart mm -hmm. so it was the same na sisi ambao tulikuwa tunaiba na simu we were experts ambapo everyone by that time alikuwa ako na ile mpaka yani mwenye ako kamiti mm. yani transfer ikiingia tu unasikia unajua mm -hmm. nilipokuwa prison mimi jina yangu nigeuzwa CDK ama Derek it was junior kwa sababu was the youngest maybe oh, everywhere yeah. in prison walikuwa wanajua junior, junior. Eh. so it was like eh hey, nani amekuja nani kwa hiyo transfer ah kuna junior ah bas tosha bas shika hizi elfu kumi ende documentation fasta fasta amalizwe aje tumpatie simu kwa sababu huyo mtu anajua mm -hmm. the moment yenye huo anapewa simu mm -hmm. bai kwa simu mm -hmm. apade anajua lazima hapo ameweka kama ka 60 ka 70 laki sasa mm -hmm. yani anakupenda kwa sababu hiyo kazi yenye unafanya na sasa hizo people are owning homes people are owning so many things and it's because mm -hmm. they have family members they have people sasa so, so, mimi chenye nilikuwa najiuliza niweke pesa kwa line yeah mimi mwenyewe sina kitambulisho mm -hmm. naweka pesa kwa line hii pesa ndio hii unamaliza miezi tatu line imefungwa na safari kwa mm hiyo -hmm. pesa ni serikali ya safari kwa na gawanya mm -hmm. ai afadhali yangu nivute unga bangi hivyo that was hiyo ndio ni kitu ilikuwa nimeweka tu kwa roho yangu azina kuna kitu ulipo una hold on to isipokuwa hizi vitu unaangalia kando huku au na mwenyewe sasa sina mwenye it's me hivyo mm -hmm. hivyo hiyo pesa utapeleka wapi na uwezi peleka kwa serikali ah. so mimi nikawa nasema kuliko pesa yangu ije idiwe na mchwa mm. acha ni kule mimi mwenyewe whatever will happen sawa mambo ya Mungu ni mengi mm -hmm. na ikawa sina hopes kwa sababu niko na watu nimekutana na watu kamiti shimo manyani mm -hmm. kibosco diaga mm -hmm. naivasha kingongo mm -hmm. watu ambao wamekaa 35 years mm -hmm. 36 alishikwa akiwa kijana mm -hmm. kunishinda hata mimi mm -hmm. Na amekaa 35 years. So I was like asking myself, huyo mtu akitoka hata noti yenyewe aliache ikiwa 200. Saa hii akirudi raia mm. anapata hata hiyo noti ilifika 1000 na ikabadilishwa mm. mpaka ni nyingine mpya. Mm. 